And the fact, let me say this too, the fact that he was released from custody and made to continue traveling within, within the U.S., meaning a takeaway visa, that is even more cause of concern. Because you will know what bargain would have been struck, what deal um, he, he would have made. Because it, uh, it's all about a hustle. It's all, all about a hustle. hustle. Imagine to this day the National Security Advisor. This guy was living right next to his business in Duke no, Street. Mark, there. Mark, stick a pin. Sure. His register, his address was lot 93 Duke Street, Kingston. Darn, you know, not only to, to the Ghana police force, but, but, but the government. And when you look at it, you know, there are similar facts. You, you mentioned about the, the Bacchus story, and then we had the, the, the paper shots. But even so, this man has been living right next to the National Security Advisor's business. I am almost certain that he entered the business place of uh, Jerry Govaya, and nobody knew anything about this guy, or were they covering up things? I'm not that, Again, I say, you are going to be worried. You have to be worried. And even when, if and when Caesar returns, you're going to be uncomfortable. I know you're going to question him. He's going to tell you all what he wants you to know. And he's not going to tell you everything. And I guess you're going to be afraid when you are in his presence. And further, I say not. Let me ring him. I'm talking about the, the extended squatter and the head of, 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 the, of, the, of, the, of the, the CID. And they tried to discredit him. Well, a major thing they say that he live in in a house rent free in a secrebo which is owned by a businessman so the he's compromised and then shortly after this Ghana police force received 10 vehicles from the same businessman <laughs> so if caesar was compromised it means that the Ghana police force was also com com compromised this all stems in my opinion they start the the loads of investigations going on they pull in a permanent secretary for Ministry of Home Affairs. Home Affairs are in charge of the police. Pull her in for questioning, you know what I mean? I don't know what she told them. I don't know if she gave up any names, confirmed any of the suspicions that they have and those things like that. And they are now working. And, and the Americans are good at this, you know what I mean? They don't pull your visa until they get what you want from you. Let me tell you this. If they took his phone, they're going to be able to recover all the information. If you believe he raised and he, do, he got to recover all the information. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. And the fact, let me say this too, the fact that he was released from custody and made to continue traveling 18 within the U.S., meaning a takeaway visa, that is even more cause of concern because you will know what bargain would have been struck, what deal um, he, he would have made. Because the likes of Caesar, buddy, is going to save themselves. As you know, they'll tell you, save yourself and let your brother go astray. Save yourself and let your brother go astray. The man know a lot of story about senior police officers. He know a lot of story about senior government functionaries. And if the feds had him there for... Um, any length of time, as I've said, it must be a, it must be targeted questioning. The feds is not like these people we get in Guyana asking us at a stupid question. They will be targeted questioning about specific incidents, about specific things they would have questioned him about. And I say again, the fact that he was allowed to continue to travel and might still be in the U.S. should be cause for concern of all of those people, like the vice president who nonchalant we say oh it's not a matter for the government it's a matter for the police hierarchy to deal with did they seize his phone as they did with me thomas the ps did they take his phone to mine all the information on the, on that or those instruments did they do that yeah i might want to ask him um if they took his phone from from him because let me tell you this if they took his phone they're going to be able to recover all the information. If you believe he raised and he do, he got to recover all the information. I know of that technology. I know of that technology. 
I was part of that operation, not for the force, but another institution. So I know of that technology that can bring about everything that you believe that you deleted from the um, phone. And then, um, again, I say, why was his visa not revoked? Is it that a deal was cut? I want to say to all of those people now that, again, I say, you are going to be worried. You have to be worried. And even when, if and when Caesar returns, you are going to be uncomfortable. I know you're going to question him. He's going to tell you all what he wants you to know. And he's not going to tell you everything. And I guess you got to be afraid when you are in his presence. And further, I say not. Let me bring in Mr. Conway to obviously say on this. You see, the head of the major crime unit of the Ghana Police Force is detained at JFK by the U.S. authorities, questioned for a prolonged period of time. And the vice president is telling us, oh, there's not a matter for the government, there's a matter for the police command to deal with. What are your views, my brother? And, and that'll be of major concern, you know, not only to, to the Ghana police force, but, but by the government. And when you look at it, you know, there are similar facts. You you mentioned about the, the Bacchus story, and then we had the, the, the paper shots. Rembo Bascom made damning allegations, and instead of they, they, instead of they, they, they listened to him, they rushed with breakneck speed to debunk his story and they did a horrible job attacking by the the extended squatter and the head of of of, 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 the, of the of the of this the cid and they tried to discredit him well, a major thing they say that he living in a house rent free in a secretable which is owned by a businessman so the he, he's compromised and then shortly after, this Ghana police force received 10 vehicles from the same businessman. So if Caesar was compromised, it means they say the Ghana police force was also com com compromised. And we, 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 we got to be concerned. Because the US don't just pull you in just like that. They wait until they, they build a case against you. And if you watch, all them drug people police for drug trafficking none none never never get quitted all get convicted they'll have the information there and paul you a board man perhaps perhaps you might know perhaps um caesar maybe maybe, maybe whistle like a canary or 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 whistle like a toe you know the thing is is, is threatening and they got to be of concern because they won't tell it they won't tell the police force or the government what they discuss with caesar that that's not 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 their policy but caesar will talk and caesar caesar would want to ensure hey, that you know to which his own he want to ensure that hey me 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 bearing chair for nobody like sir why you want for sir and he had to be he had to whistle to their tune make that is that they have to that they allow him to remain in the states and then cancel his, his visa, like how they cancel the, the, the former um, PS um, affairs visa. So, lots of things with the major crime unit. And, and as you mentioned, they were all transferred out of the CID. And with the change of government, they all, including the head of the, head of the CID, returned to CID, returned to head of the, 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 the crime unit. So it is, it is, you know, cause for concern. And I sure many government officials, they, 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 they are uneasy. And not only government officials, many members of the Ghana police force, including senior persons, one who said, one who the Alessandro uh, USA, if they make him a deputy commissioner or, or commissioner, they're going to cancel his visa like how they cancel green visa because of his association with certain members of the business community who the UN United States have interest in. So um, let, let, let's wait and see what, what, what's, what's going to happen, Paul. Yeah, let's wait and see. And I know that we, want, we don't have to wait too long. But I said, hey, let me say this again. 
you said the man might have sung, sung like a tower tower. One of my favorite boards when I used to mind board, tower tower, tower beautiful singing. Some you call him bastard, whatever you want to call it. But the old story is, the old story is, if, as we now know, Caesar was detained by the feds at, um, in JFK. I understand now only one federal agent, federal agency. He might have been more than one federal agencies questioning him, him. My information suggests that one of those agencies might have been um, the DEA, the Drug, Drug Enforcement Authority. I don't know. Cardi, I'm telling you. And CC, you said something that the US would not tell you what they were questioning about. Is Caesar have to tell you? But let me tell you this. Caesar can be asked to, to, to explain what he was questioning about. But I sure some of the things he can lock off. Some things he's not gonna um made clear. And you know, we don't have polygraph in Guyana. It would have been a good thing. When you put them, when you question it, you put him on a polygraph or a leg detector test to see when he's dancing and when he's squirming. He's going to say what he has been programmed to say. And despite, I say again, despite this cavalier or nonchalant attitude by the vice president last Thursday at his press conference, I'm going to put in quotes, press conference. I know, I know a lot of people worry a lot of people worried, including some of those persons who um, his name was calling by Boscom about allegations of corruption. And so they got to be worried. They got to be worried. If they're not worried, I challenge them to jump on a plane and say you're going to Miami if you have a visa. Jump on a plane to go to the U.S. on vacation at this time. Jump on a plane if you're not afraid. Or even go to Trinidad or somewhere. You can't remember there's the rendition. Remember rendition? Remember? The concept of rendition where Roger Khan was arrested in Suriname and the Surinamese extradited him to Guyana via Trinidad and when the plane touched down in um, Trinidad the feds were there to pick him up and take him to the United States now for them got to be afraid to travel not only out of Guyana but even to the border locations because you know you might end up you left to say you believe you land at Letem and you land across in Brazil and you get to the free flight to um, the U.S. with free orange suit and all of that. You're well um, dressed up, you're well decorated. So as again I say, despite the fact that they're telling you that, no, 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 and don't ever forget, don't ever forget this man who was um, arrested. Uh, what, what, what's his name? Yeah, let me out this student, the man who um, they're in U.S. custody, well, the custody, because I think he got uh, ankle bracelet and he might be moving around within certain places who went to the states and he was picked up and questioned uh i can't remember his name now somebody can remind me uh just now who his name the man from i think was cross the river a few months ago he went to the states and people said he was singing that he went there to cut a deal because he was a u.s citizen and um his passport expired and Dataram, thank you very much, student. Dataram, Barry Dataram. Barry Dataram. Remember Barry Dataram? You see, these things all have links. You might not recognize it. We might not recognize it. But Dataram was there or is there. He would have been questioned at length. I am sure that he would have given up quite a lot. The other PS passing through other um, phone seized. That would have been mined for information. So all of these things are adding up now. All of these things are adding up. Perhaps the chickens are coming home to roost. So, Mr. Vice President, you could convey the impression that you and others should not be concerned. I know different. And other people know different. That you all have every reason to be concerned, especially to in light of the recent questioning by the United Nations Human Rights uh, Body. All of these things all of these things are in, in my view all of these things have some kind of link all of these things have some kind of link and yet till you know, when i look in my crystal ball i can see in the first instance people squirming people in guyana right now senior police officers um senior government functionaries the fact that caesar was um detained they are tremendously worried they're gonna give you 
the impression outwardly, oh, there's no need for concern, uh, as the impression the vice president tried to give. No need to concern. But I know that they are concerned. Barry Dataram in the U.S., he went there most likely to strike a deal. May Thomas Toussaint, the PS Home Affairs, detained and questioned, or phone seized, or visa revoked, now the head of the major crime unit in the Guyana Police Force. Major crime. And again, I gotta emphasize, for all intent is what? The, the perhaps the most second se the second most senior man in the CID. Now you have the crime chief, who is an assistant commissioner. You have he who is the head of the major crime as a superintendent. There might be other people with the same rank. But in terms of responsibility, in terms of um the role, he is um seen to be perhaps the most, the second most senior man in the um, CID. And this man is detained, I got to emphasize, and questioned, and allowed to, re and allowed to remain in the US. You know, again, this is significant. The man is allowed to remain in the US, which is... <laughs> hey. When I when I sit and I watch these um these show with slow and CC, I is dying with laugh, I tell you. But even though it's funny, to be honest with you, this is not looking good. It's not looking good at all on the international scene. Because guess what? When the US could just grab up your top ranking officials and hold them in for questioning and them type of thing. It is a bad reflection on the entire country. Because guess what? As the head is going to wash down on the shoulders. It's going to wash down to the regular persons. It's going to wash down to the regular citizens that got traversed in and out of these same countries. Why are you going to call me a embarrass me like that? Get yourself involved in things like that. But allegedly, this situation started all the way in GT. And he put himself in a situation that make him now find himself in international hot water. And now he whistling allegedly like a fire red after he bought pepper. Allegedly. This situation is not a good one at all. It's not a good reflection on persons with that title on their name, Guyanese. Cause we got travel through these airport buddy. We got the places where we got commute all over the place and interact in these systems. And when you coming through allegedly as a top ranking official and they treating you like the other thing they treat, allegedly they treat you. You see what I'm saying? So now, as we look at this situation here, sir, we know that it's only downhill from here, allegedly. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. It's all about a hustle. It's all, all about, about a hustle. hustle. Imagine to this day the National Security Advisor. This guy was living right next to his business in Duke no, Street. Mark, there. Mark, stick a pin. Sure. His register, his address was lot 93 Duke Street, Kingston. You could see there, if you see it right to the bottom there on, on the screen. Yeah. 93, Google 93 Duke Street, Kingston. Yeah, it is, you it's will Google. see it. I did that already. I made contact with the National Security Advisor. He indicated to me that that property is not his. It's adjacent to his adjacent to his i'm uh, sorry to his business and apparently he basically saying that he has nothing to do that is what the national security advisor of guyana jerry govaya said to me he said no it is not his property but even so this man has been living right next to the national security advisor's business i am almost certain that he entered the business place of uh jerry govaya and nobody knew anything about this guy or were they covering up things? I'm not saying that Jerry was, but the question is, who has been covering up in the PVP? Who has been covering up for this wanted fugitive? 
listen to me. I'm I'm Mark. I'm reading a, 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 a I know you spoke to Mr. Jerry Govaya here. So I, I'm reading a article here <clears throat> written by Mr. Jerry Govaya. Right? Rurai Mary's bid for, was the highest for Duke Street House. Right? And 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 this is when he bought it. And and, and just just to stick a pin. He bought it under Jack Deere's presidency. Under Jack Deere's presidency. Under questionable circumstances because the price was way below the market value. And he claimed Egg. that he was... Good. Well, go ahead, continue. So it, it says that he, this is by his hand. I was not, pre I myself was not present nor was part of any discussion with the Board of Privatization during all the proceedings associated with the sale of property situated at lot 93, 7, 93 Duke Street, right? So he already owns 94, right? He owned 94 and he said his bid was the highest for lot 93 Duke Street, which is the next door to what he has. He had 94 is what he had. Next door is 93. So both of them is there if you Google it. I mean, I don't know how we could tell you that it is not his property. I spoke with the National Security Advisor. He did say that it is not his property. The conversation, the conversation with the National Security Advisor on this took place on March 18th. Mm -hmm. On March he said no it is not it is next door i, I find it is, i find it i find it amazing GT? folks said, not sure i will find out folks you all well all i ask in your folks we are we have the internet on on all i'm saying to them i'm, I'm asking them do your own research google lot 93 juke street kingston see what comes up lot 93 and 94 Duke Street kingston are, are listed as um to part of rhyme estate 94 was the original house the timber house you know that um old nice oh, yeah, ornate that, timber during house, that time 93 is is where there's a big conference he made a big conference area during yeah. during that time there was a big controversy over that over and his acquisition through yeah. the yeah through the privatization unit of which his good friend uh mr brassington was head of exactly. that unit and uh, those were sweetheart deals and of course exactly. we all know and, uh, and, about and he wrote defending deals. the deals but oh, no yeah. it's no absolutely. longer his own absolutely so uh before we move on and i keep saying before we move on let me say to our listeners as i say hi to them ex including those who are watching via uh, village oh, it, 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 it's, it's one of those bad words, GPL, you know me, like you, you yeah. like, like the people set up, you say it, it can happen. So everybody avoid using the word GPL because block out. Absolutely. If you, 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 so you, we're giving it a little time so that, you know me, at least the, the viewers could see us and, and GPL doesn't yeah. do what they've been yeah. doing all, all since the PP come back and snuff us out, snuff the lights out. Yeah. So, Mr. Patterson, I want to ask you this question with regards to we are hearing that a lot of senior policemen are being questioned by U.S. law enforcement agencies, even upon their arrival in the U.S. Uh, even some, we're told, even some government officials are being pulled aside and questioned. Uh, even some business people are being questioned when they travel. And that may be that maybe that explains why a lot of senior policemen and government officials are not traveling these days. But what is your take on the man responsible for crime? Well, Mr. Caesar being pulled in and questioned by U.S. law enforcement agencies. Uh, I heard it's not once, it's twice. You know what I mean? Look, the, 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 these guys believe that one, because we found oil, that makes them in control, untouchable. You know I mean, they're, they, they're in the, in the elite. Secondly, they believe that people are not watching. The international agencies are not watching. So the the the, 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 the scheming, the the, the 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 things that they do here are not um, being recorded elsewhere. You know, what I mean, long now, Mark. You know, they 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 
been threatening to unseal indictments against several of the government ministers and those things like that, several persons in the PPP. This all stems, in my opinion, they start, they, there's loads of investigations going on. They pull in a permanent secretary for Ministry of Home Affairs. Home Affairs are in charge of the police. Pull her in for questioning, you know I mean? I don't know what she told them. I don't know if she gave up any names, confirmed any of the suspicions that they have and those things like that. And they are now working. And, and the Americans are good at this, you know I mean? They don't pull your visa until they get what you want from you. A natural way to stay ready, baby, because I'm ready for you, Mr. C. So by association, he is now saying the mole Roysdale Ford is a PPP mole. That's what he called them, mole. 